Hey guys, welcome back to Jamal Rule 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we're about for a brand new benchmark. But we're testing out the car, Desert Rally for the PC. Today we're running the Summer Intel Core, a 31010 with the NVIDIA GDX 1060. 3GB VRAM graphics card. We're running with 16GB of DDR4 RAM and dual channel memory. And as you can see already, the textures are ridiculous on this game. You need more than 3GB of VRAM, obviously. Look at that, I can't see a damn thing. This game has an issue. When you go, when you um, you lower all the settings to low, everybody starts to T-pose. It's very bad. Like it's not really lower. As you can see, it's not like it's almost like it's close to T-posing right now. Look at my hands. My hands aren't even fully on the bike. It's literally saying, "Hey, you can't run this game like this." Now this is 1080p with high settings. Why am I using these? Because we need to. Do not change textures. You can change everything else, but shadows look so bad on low. You're probably going to put things to medium and then hope for the best. And we're T posing again. So when I change certain settings, it starts to T pose. I don't. Which setting is that? I need to figure out which. Is it view distance? For some reason, is it. Could it be view distance? It's view distance. When you change view distance, it goes crazy. For whatever reason. The textures aren't even being worked on, so that's going to low. Maybe foliage as well, and effects. Just to get over 60, but it looks so bad like this. It looks so bad. This game looks terrible like this. I like how I just did all that tweak. Let's do all Let's start. Let's just start the damn races. I did all that tweaking. It looks really bad when you put it the shadows to low, man. The shadows on low are, and the shadows aren't even on low, they're on medium, and it still looks terrible. Quite an interesting dilemma I'm in here. This game isn't very well optimized, if you haven't noticed, and well, it's also very demanding. It has a lot of issues around it. Demanding and not optimized well doesn't go hand in hand, so we're going to run into some issues. Also, the 3GB of VRAM just isn't enough. There's a lot of issues here, as I said before. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay around for more epic content. This game came out on it for free, and I thought, hey, let's do some tests on it. But man, it struggles. It struggles on integrated graphics. It struggles, but you can run it on integrated graphics. I have achieved this, but it struggles everywhere. It's just a bad thing, man. It's just not optimized. The frame time. Look at that. There's a lot of stutters. Like nothing is smooth about this. Look at those frame time. That is nothing is smooth about that. You know, it's just weird. Uh oh. Hey, at least I didn't follow from that guy. Anyway, I'm just gonna mute myself, so enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and I'll see you guys next time. This looks awful like this. Probably wouldn't recommend you playing, trying to play this at like full speed. Maybe 30 FPS, but I don't know why you would wanna do that, but maybe. At that point, maybe.